These are the instructions to calculate an average population projection scenario directly from Canada's census of population starting with 1996 to 2001 to 2006 and 2011. So we're going to be coming up with a projection for 2016. And this is how to do it. First of all, what you want to do is not work with the males and females. We're just going to work with the totals. So we select the columns, copy, add a worksheet, control V to paste. Now what we want to do is we want to take a look at the difference between one census age group and the previous census age group in the previous census. We want to do that for each of the census periods for all of the five-year age groups plus the 100 and plus. Then what we want to do is we want to get an average <coughs> figure for Canada over these years just so that we have it. Then what we want to do is create a ratio. And so what we do is we just take the difference and compare it to the previous census year. And we notice in this case that there was a 3% increase, 3.0404 increase in the a number of people who were zero to four years old in 1996, and by, but the, uh, there was an increase in the number of people counted in the five to nine year age group five years later in 2001, and that increase was about 3%. So let's just see what the other increases were like. Oh, 6.666% uh, for the next census period, 2001 to 2006, and then 7% um, in the, between 2006 and 2011. So we notice that it's gone up considerably. Now what we want to do is we want to do the same thing as we did here. We want to give or get an average scenario, an average of the ratios. And uh, so I like to work with four decimal places. There we go. And now what we want to do is we want to come up with a 2016 number. And that's pretty easy to do. All we do is we just go this plus, oh, whoops. <laughs> no, that's not great. This times this. We'll just put brackets around it. Plus the original amount of people counted. And this is what we get. So let's run that down. Okay, good. So let's just take a look at what this, um, what the age distribution looks like by five year age groups by creating a chart, and this is going to be a line chart. We'll make it a little bit spiffy. We're going to have to do some tidying up right away just to make sure that everything is correctly labeled. Great. And here we want to get the horizontal axis. We want to get all the five-year age groups plus the open-ended age group of 100 plus. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to move that chart to its own chart place, and we're going to call it age distribution underscore chart, and say okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go, oh, hey, we've got an additional bit of information here. So we're going to add what we 
we think, well, what we've calculated at least for the 2016 census. And remember, we didn't get the zero to four year old because we're, we're, we're comparing one census uh, year to the next. And so there we go. Let's just see what it looks like. And we have to say, okay, and look at that. We have a blue line showing us our projection year. So we did, is actually the right projection. 2016 population projection. Let's just do that because then it's labeled. And we can see that right there, it's a projection. So that was it. How easy and quick it is to do.